this segment, we will talk about how to connect to the RAK uh, gateway. And this specific uh, model is called RAK7258. Uh, and it was made mainly for indoor uh, lower one gateway. Uh, this is what the uh, RAK gateway looks like. And uh, one thing that stands out is this uh, cell antenna, as you can see here. Uh, there are various indicating lights in the back of the unit. Uh, and we'll get right into what those are later. Uh, you can also connect to the gateway through a USB port on here and also Ethernet cable. Uh, the unit is fairly small, as you can see on the camera here. And uh, let's plug right into a power source and uh, connect to this gateway. So right after you plug in the gateway, you should be seeing there are light flashing in the back. Um, various indicating light will come up. Uh, and uh, besides the Ethernet and the uh, USB connection to the uh, gateway itself, you can also connect to it through Wi-Fi, which I will be demonstrating on the computer here. So let's get right into that. So here is a browser. You can uh, use any browser of your choice. In this case, I'm just using Google Chrome. Uh, and the IP address to the router is uh, previously given in a manual. You can look that up uh, once you have that. But in this case, we are just going to type in the uh, gateway. So uh, what you can see here is if we connect to it, it will not connect because uh, we have not yet connect to the Wi-Fi network that has been established by this uh, gateway. So how do you do that? Um, basically, uh, what you can see is on the back of the unit, uh, once you get it, you will be able to see uh, different numbers. Uh, what it shows you is various information. Uh, and the number I want you to pay attention to is the one in the bottom, which uh, should start with uh, the MAC, M-A-C. Uh, this is essentially the MAC address of this uh, gateway on the Wi-Fi, and uh, whatever number that is below the barcode uh, for the MAC is going to be the name of the Wi-Fi. In this case, we have already uh, found it, so let's just connect to that. So on the computer, uh, you can see through the Wi-Fi networks, uh, there are obviously various different uh, connections. And once you plug it in, uh, you should be able to see that number that I just uh, asked you to find has a Wi-Fi uh, name attached to it. So once you do that, you can uh, connect to it. Uh, and in this case, we've already connected to it before. Uh, the password of the gateway, the default password, uh, is already given in the manual. So once we connect to that, now we go back to the uh, browser. And uh, you will be able to see a control panel that is showing you the uh, RAK gateway login screen. 
And here, the username and the password are both root by default. So once we log into that, uh, we'll be able to see that the uh, we are already able to connect to the gateway. So various information are displayed on here once you first log in, you will be able to see the status. Uh, these are the different information that uh, you'll be able to see. And uh, uh, I just, I'm going to go through how you can configure this Wi-Fi uh, network on the gateway, uh, which is how we connect to it. Uh, and that is done through the uh, going down to the network and then uh, click on the Wi-Fi. So various uh, menu will pop up for the uh, Wi-Fi settings. Uh, the one that I want to highlight first is this uh, mode. So under mode, there are three different options. The access point is basically uh, saying that the gateway is creating a Wi-Fi and you can be able to connect to that Wi-Fi uh, in order to access the gateway. There is also the client setting. This is where the gateway does not create a Wi-Fi network, but it will be able to connect to other network that you already established uh, and acting as a uh, a uh, device that is connect to the Wi-Fi you previous set up. Uh, and then this access point and client, this is what we are using right now. Uh, it's basically acting as a bridge uh, Wi-Fi, if you will. So it connects to a Wi-Fi that has been previously established, but also creates a Wi-Fi itself for you to connect to. So now um, it not only connects to the Wi-Fi that you, you previously established, but also allow you to connect to the gateway itself through the Wi-Fi that you have uh, set up for this uh, gateway. The second menu here you can see is the wireless access point. Uh, this is exactly uh, how the gateway set up its own network or its own Wi-Fi in this case. And we can see that this name matches the uh, MAC address as I mentioned before that is uh, on the back of the gateway. Uh, and this was set up by default. And obviously you can change these uh, to something that you wanted to use yourself. For the uh, wireless client, uh, this is where you can tell the gateway to connect to a Wi-Fi that you have previously created. So in this case, we connect to a Wi-Fi network that is uh, around this location right now. So uh, how you can do that by clicking on the scan as I did just now and the gateway will go out and scan for the different Wi-Fi networks around it. And hopefully it will be able to see uh, what the Wi-Fi network we have. So, the reason why I didn't respond here is because it disconnected itself to my computer here. So now let's just go back and uh, reconnect to the device. Okay, so now we are able to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Um, Sometimes it just requires some patience in the connection. 
But if we go back and uh, we just want to make sure that we can log re log in here. And uh, we can go back to the Wi Fi settings and click scan again and make sure you are connected to the device. Okay, so now as you can see, you will be able to see the list of different uh, networks on here. So for here, at my location, uh, I'm just going to connect to this Wi Fi. Uh, that has been previously established. And uh, it will take a little bit of time for it to reconfigure itself to be able to connect to the Wi Fi network. Uh, and uh, what happens is uh, you'll be able to see in the back of the device um, it will flash a little bit. Uh, that is basically saying that the Wi-Fi is reconfiguring and now it will be able to connect to the uh, new Wi-Fi that I have just told it to connect to. So uh, that is how you can connect to it uh, through Wi-Fi. And obviously, as I mentioned before, you can connect through the Ethernet port, uh, which is a li little bit easier in this case, since you can just plug one end of it to the gateway and the other end to your computer. The other uh, function that I want to highlight is the uh, in, under the LoRaWAN network. When you click on network settings, uh, there are various information that will pop up uh, in here. So two of the very important information or settings that you wanted to configure is first under mode, make sure that the mode is a packet forwarder. Uh, this is basically setting this gateway to send all the data that is received to uh, wherever the Things network um, or the cloud, as if you will, so that uh, it will be able to send all the data up uh, and upload them. And the other important information that you want to write down uh, in this specific case uh, for the future configurations, uh, as I will also mention in, pre in uh, up the videos after this is uh, this gateway EUI. Uh, this information is uh, critical in terms of uh, configuring in further steps, uh, which I will mention in the next video. The other setting that I wanted to mention is this uh, server address. So this is essentially the server address for uh, wherever you want the gateway to upload the data to. In this case, we are using the Liminal Tech uh, Things Network address. Uh, but in your case, you can change that to whatever address that you have. And after the, all of these, uh, these settings are done, uh, you can, again, click Save and Apply, and the, the router will be able to uh, reconfigure itself for proper connections. Uh, and I just wanted to reiterate, reiterate again here that uh, this gateway also has a cell modem inside of it. So if you click on the cellular interface, 
you will be able to see uh, there is a network that is already connected uh, for cell connection in this specific case. Uh, and uh, on the back of the unit, you can install the SIM card uh, to be able to connect. There you have it. Uh, this is how you can connect to the uh, RAK gateway. Specific model is RAK7258. And this gateway device basically enables you to uh, establish a bridge that is connecting both all of the sensors uh, using LoRaWAN network to uh, upload all of their data through this bridge device or the gateway to the uh, Things Cloud network. And from the Things Cloud network, we can be able to uh, download the data or upload it to another place for archiving or uh, data visualizations. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for connecting this device.